everyone. Oh, all right. Hey everyone. Good afternoon. Today I am at the Casa Grande National Monument ruins, and wow, it really is a sight to see. I mean, if you see this in person, it's actually a lot larger than on video, and it's really nice out here. This is the this is a perfect view for out here. It's a nice, beautiful day. Uh, mid 70s and they have a lot of different things out here uh, let's see if I could see if I could get a picture for you guys a good clear shot and uh, this is one of the passages here I believe got some kind of canal for the water that drains all the way down out the other side this is what the land looks like out all around here and that's the ruins itself they have all of this all around here okay so this is one of the walls in here it's really nice by the archaeologists that to build this building would have taken approximately a hundred thousand baskets of caliche. As they went up, the walls narrowed. That's not a mistake, that's good engineering. The interior walls, they, they, they used uh, plumb bobs to make sure they were vertical. The outer walls tapered in. Because as you went up, you're supporting less weight, you don't need as heavy walls. And I imagine there were a few aching backs that were glad that they were using less material. <laughs> they build around three or four times and they come to the top of the first floor. At that point, they would put rafters, straight pieces of uh, logs across the wall. In the other direction, they would have put saguaro ribs or maybe reeds from the wetlands along the rivers. And on top of that, they took more caliche and smoothed it down to make a cement floor. Then they do the second floor and the third floor and do the same. Do you see any trees out here with long straight tree trunks that would make rafters? Neither did they. When archaeologists first got here, almost all the rafters were gone. The local neighbors here, the people who were left here, Cool, so there's the ruins right behind me, as you can see there. I've taken a little tour of it, which had explained more of the history behind it. And I thought it was absolutely worth it. And there was like so much to see around here, so many things to do. And this place here is truly magnificent and it's really one of a kind see here. This is what it looks like all around me. And I absolutely love this a lot. Like so much here. It's literally the inside here.
also they have like so much to see here and I never get tired of coming here and I can't believe that this actually once existed as a historical part of the native Indian community and its people. So they have a lot of different things to be seen here and I've only really covered like half of it so far I think but but I really love this little passage here. A little small and they also have this one here they also have this small confined confined space which is in here and you can see how detailed the walls really are and I thought this was a good day for doing a regular vlog, it's just me outside, spending time and learning about the culture and history of where the native Indian used to live here. This is very much a historical aspect of a once existed civilization. Some kind of like secret passage right here. <laughs> Check this out. This is really interesting here. I'm not sure what that is either. It's like a two to frame. Something was buried in there. Mm. Wow. This place is really great.
21st is the summer solstice. This building is an observatory. Now, why would they care about the summer solstice? Well, we have a theory, a story about that. And it seems very plausible, but I have to warn you, for every problem in the world, there is an answer that is easy, logical, and wrong. <laughs> Our story may be completely wrong. It makes sense, though. Imagine that you're someone up there watching. Here in Arizona, the summer rains from the end of June to the beginning of July. You see that light? Hit the mark, you send out word to all the farmers. Make sure the canals are in good order. Plant your fields. Alright, so I'm actually going through the parts where they allow you to go inside of. I uh, can't go through there. But this is actually what I'm going through here. It's very, really interesting. I love spending time out here. It's very peaceful and very much relaxing as well. So this is a great place to come to. If you're ever here in Arizona, this this is in the city of Coolidge. Perfect time to come out here is in November. It's nice and cool. Oh wow. Yeah, it's like this here. Wow. Okay, actually feel the wall itself. It's actually really, really hard. And they've done a great job as civilization as people here to preserve the life here and the history of it. Wow. This is what it looks like from the outside. And they get the irrigation system there. <laughs> 